Our commencement address in English will be delivered by Mr. Bruce Donahue, the Chargé d'Affaires at the U.S. Embassy in Armenia. Mr. Bruce Donahue, a career member of the United States Foreign Service, arrived in Armenia as Deputy Chief of Mission on July 15, 2010. During his career, Mr. Donahue has served at the U.S. Embassy in Moscow as the Deputy Political Counselor, as the Deputy Director of the Caucasus and Central Asia Desk, and as a Special Advisor for the Diplomatic Readiness Initiative at the U.S. Department of State. Other assignments have included Warsaw, Poland, and two tours in Seoul, South Korea. Mr. Donahue is a graduate of Cornell University and has advanced degrees from the University of Oregon and the National War College. He also attended the University of Göttingen in Germany as a Fulbright Scholar. He speaks Russian, German, and he's learning Armenian. Chargé <laughs> d'Affaires, Bruce Donahue, it is my pleasure to ask you to take a question. Thank you, uh, President Pogosian. It's an honor to speak to you today, to be joined here by the De Deputy Minister of Justice, uh, Mr. Emil Babayan, and by the other distinguished guests that I see before me. I'd also like to thank the American University of Armenia for its enduring relationship with the U.S. Embassy and its commitment to academic excellence. I must uh, also say I'm deeply honored to be here because I looked at the program and noticed that I'm the only one whose last name doesn't end in Jan. And so uh, I'm deeply honored to, to be able to speak to you today. Uh, I represent the America, and since I'm in Armenia, where ethnicity is carefully considered, and also to be a representative of my fellow Irish Americans. Congratulations to all of the graduates for your hard work. You should be very proud of your achievements. The long hours of studying, the late night paper writing, and the difficult exams have paid off. You leave AUA equipped to find creative solutions to problems, to, to lead and teach others, and to make your mark in the world. As you know, you didn't make it alone, and I would like to again emphasize what uh, President Bogosian said about the team effort from parents, teachers, administrators uh, that went into your graduating today. Now after completing your master's degree, you take on new challenges and have an opportunity to join the ranks of leaders, visionaries, and role, model, role models who will make the world a better place. With higher education, as several of our speakers have said, comes higher responsibility. The responsibility to help those around you Use your new skills and knowledge to improve your community and your nation. Right now, you probably have more options than you will ever have again in your life. And that's a sobering thought. Some of you have found jobs already, and others are still looking. But no matter where you find yourself, be it atop a thriving software development firm, in front of a classroom of eager eyes on September 1st, or raising children to be responsible adults, your actions and decisions make a difference. My message is quite simple. I challenge you today to become active citizens, to make your communities and workplaces better, to make that difference for your nation and the world. You will face decisions at every step of your professional and personal journey, hiring choices you make at your business, the values you teach your children, how you treat the disadvantaged, whether you put integrity above gain, and all these choices conspire to create the world you live in. Active citizenship empowers, but it also imposes obligations, a duty to improve your community and to put the perspective and analytical skills that you have learned in AUA to good use in building a more just, peaceful, and prosperous world. The path of an active citizen is never easy. The right choice is not always the safe choice or the popular choice. When I read a biography of someone I admire, it's their commitment, their tenacity, their willingness to question that compel my admiration. It's their leadership and personal dignity, even under the most trying circumstances. It's courage in the pursuit of excellence and in the defense of principle that inspires us. 
Trying to get everyone to like you is usually a ticket to mediocrity. Those who, who do so avoid the tough decisions, avoid confronting the people who need to be confronted, and leave little imprint on this world. Quite frankly, the world is full of mediocrity. It doesn't need any more. Excellence is rare, and it's the vital element of positive change. And excellence is not a skill, it's an attitude. No one can force you to become an active citizen. This is a choice you must make. If you make that choice, it will test the skills and knowledge that you've acquired over the last couple of years here at the university. It will also demand your time and talent and test your energy and values. Your private life competes for this time, talent, and energy. But when your public and private lives complement each other, they become self-sustaining. If you stay true to your values through the work you do, you will set an example and reach your full potential. On this joyous occasion, I'm asking you to take on the responsibility of improving your world and taking on the high road, even when it's unpopular and goes in a new or unexplored direction. And do not forget that you are the lucky ones. You have the opportunity and the ability to make the world a better place. Many here in Armenia would envy both your blessings and your duties. Building your community, serving your country, or making our planet more secure and prosperous is a tall order. But the world needs your talents in whatever field you may work, and I wish you success in whatever you may pursue. But remember, please, that success is not measured in the trappings of wealth or in your job title. Success is looking back in the years ahead and saying to yourself, I have done good in the world. And as I look at my colleagues on the stage here, these are people who've made that choice, who have done good in their own way, whether it be the academic world, the world of government, the world of business, but they have committed themselves to that type of success. And I would encourage you all to, file, to follow their admirable path. Since I know that I stand between you and your diploma, I will keep this uh, very short, and again, just wish you all the very best, and thank you very much. <laughs>